and there is a outrage across Assam after a woman was executed by militants of the outlawed National Democratic Front of Bodoland, a faction in the state's Tirang district. Now, reports suggest that on the 20th of August, heavily armed militants dragged the 16-year-old girl out of her house in a village on the Indo-Bhutan border before beating her badly and then shooting her at least nine times. The family of the girls, uh, according to reports, was made to watch this entire horror and the killing was apparently in revenge. She was suspected of being a police informer. Alok joins us on the phone line for more. Alok, this happened shortly after five cadres of that militant group were uh, were were killed in a in an encounter. Well, yes, and it is what is uh, most shocking. I feel is the way this lady was executed. We are being told that the killing was particularly gruesome. These militants walked into her village, first made her family come out, sit in one, in one location, then called the woman, beat her up first mercilessly, then shot her, shot her in the mouth, shot her uh, in other parts of the body, shot her at least nine times with automatic rifles because before they left her body there and told the parents not to go to the police and not to say anything, otherwise all of them would be shot dead. What is also particularly gruesome is the fact that this entire family was forced to watch this killing and they were told that you cannot take your eyes off this body or of this killing. So that's what happened. This village is very, very remote. It's on the Indo-Bhutan border. You need to uh, take a few boats there to get there. And it's an area that where the National Democratic Front of Bodo Lang, the Songbiji faction, has a free hand. Uh, there is no police presence. There is no presence of any paramilitary forces. So those are the, that's the kind of atmosphere that prevails in this region. Uh, like you pointed out, this lady was accused of supplying information to the, uh, to the cops about the presence of some outlawed militants, alleged militants in that area, and that seems to have led to this uh, killing. What is also very, very shocking is this is not the first incident in June. In Meghalaya, if you remember, Gaji, another woman was executed similarly. In that instance, militants had shot her off, shot off her head completely using automatic AK-47 series rifles. So the, the gruesomeness of these killings is very, very shocking, even for a conflict zone like Northeast India. And this latest case, again, a reminder of the kind of... Uh, hostility that people live in in these areas. At the moment, we are being told that there were a lot of protests over the last two, three days in this entire region. At the moment, the situation is very tense, but in a way better than the last two, three days. The family is in a hospital in Bogaingao, which is the closest big town to this area, and they are recuperating from the shock uh, of this entire incident. The body of uh, this lady, this woman, I believe, has been, uh, has been cremated. All right, Alok, so much uh, outrage uh, there in uh, Sam over this 16-year-old uh, girl being shot in this brutal and cruel fashion.